Hello everyone and welcome back. In the last lecture we were able to grab information off of a web page by using the requests and the beautiful soups modules. In this lecture we write a program to accomplish the same, okay? So let's start by importing our beautiful soup module and the requests module. Then I'll define a function. I'll just call it get eBay price. And I'll pass in a product URL. Okay. Then I'll use the requests module get method to grab my URL and store it in a variable in an object called race. Okay. So requests that get product URL. Then I'll check if there is any error on my race object in accessing the URL. So I'll do that by using the res for status attribute. Okay. So res underscore for underscore status. Then by using the beautiful soup method, which is found in the beautiful soup for module, we'll pass the HTML text that we downloaded. And I'll save it in an object called soup. Okay. So BS4 dot beautiful soup b e a u t i f u l okay b and s are uppercase then i'll pass in the res dot text and then html parser dot parser so this html dot parser will prevent that warning message from showing up and it's optional if you are okay with the warning message, you can still continue. We said that warnings in Python are not exceptions. Next, we will pass the CSS selector of the element that we want to look for. Okay? And then I'll save that in an object called elements or elements. Okay? So I have soup that select. And then I'll copy the CSS selector pass here. Okay, let me go back to eBay. And this is the element I want to pull off, right? This is the element that I want to get. So select it, right click, click on inspect. And then click here to highlight it. Then right click, copy copy selector you might see copy CSS selector or simply selector so depending on what you are using so click on that and paste it paste it here so this elements objects contains a list of our selected element right so I'll use the strip method just to get the dollar amount. So I'll return elements and pass index zero that text that strip, right? Okay. Then I'll set the price to be equal to my function. So get eBay price and then I'll pass the web page URL. So this is the web page URL. Copy it, then paste it here. And finally, I'll print something like this the price is plus price. Okay, let's run our program. Here I got an error. It says module object has 
no attribute beautiful ok this should be beautiful soup not soul okay let's run it again great now our program is working fine the price is 13.50 so to recap we saw how to parse HTML with the beautiful soup module we saw that web pages are plain text files formatted as HTML and HTML can be parsed with the beautiful soup module by passing the string with the HTML to the beautiful soup method function in the beautiful soup for module we can get a soup object right and this soup object has a select method that can be passed a string of the CSS selector for an HTML tag and we saw how to get the CSS selector string from the browser's developer tool by right clicking on the element that we want and then selecting, then copying the CSS path. And this select method will return a list of matching element objects. And finally, we use the strip method to only limit our finding to the element that we initially selected. Great. Thank you everyone. And I'll see you at the next lecture.